October 18th at Budweiser Gardens. This is going to be the biggest show the Provincial Fighting Championships has put on to date. You're looking at a packed house and we're doing this all for charity, which in my opinion makes this the biggest Ontario fight card yet. When you put together knockout kidney disease with Provincial Fighting Championship in a venue like Budweiser Garden in a city like London and a card packed with hometown, homegrown talent, this is going to be the biggest fight show that Ontario fight fans have seen outside of the UFC. This is the top guys available right now and doing it for the best possible cause. Rose lands on knee! Yeah, Jordan with a big shot early. Oh, and the there we going go! Toe -to -toe. As Ronson's is just raining down, the elbow going. Oh. Got a sense of when it's second kick to the With body. Another liver. Oh, dominating the liver here in this early in the second, throwing some massive, devastating elbows. Got to be watching this. He'll step in. Oh, Ronson's got him by TKO. In the main event, you're going to look at Jesse Ronson versus Dom O'Grady, and Ronson is coming back from the UFC to fight for the first time in his hometown, as if he needed any extra added motivation. Dom O'Grady's a grinder. This guy can put you into the fence. He can take you down. He's 2-0 in Bellator. He's looking to use the former UFC fighter in Ronson as the stepping stone. I'm Jesse the Body Snatcher Ronson. I'm fighting out of London, Ontario under the Adrenaline Training Center. I fought for a showdown uh, two years ago, doing a professional kickboxing fight. Now I'm excited to do professional MMA. What separates me from everybody in my division is that I'm better than them. Nobody can hang with me because I put it on them and they all break before I do. I just generally beat people and then choke them because they can't defend it. This main event is going to be Jesse Ronson's stand-up trying to put out another opponent, another notch on that body snatcher list. Jesse Ronson is one of the best Canadian fighters that we've seen come along since MMA got big in this country and I have no doubt that he is going to put on a show for his hometown fans. Healy opening up, left hand to the head, he went right to the body. Now right hand to the head, but Ricci answers with a beauty of his own. Karkula oh, trying to knee bar, open, and he's open. leaving himself wide open. In our co-main event, you're going to have Jesse Gross taking on Ryan Healy, and this is fight of the night on any card, anywhere, for any promotion. Two guys who have one goal in mind, entertain the fans. You got Ryan Healy coming up from the Northwest in the United States. He has one goal in mind every time he's in the cage. Put hands on his opponent, knock his opponent out, and walk away with the W. Now on the other side, Jesse the Ghost Gross, and will this maybe be the last time we see Jesse Gross in the cage? You talk about motivation. He's in his hometown in front of his friends and family, possibly for the very last time. He is as exciting as they come. It's amazing that PFC has been able to get him on two out of their first three fight cards because he never disappoints in any of his fights. Put this fight at 2 a.m. in a parking lot and Jesse Gross will bring everything that he has to the table. I'm Jesse the Ghost Gross fighting out of London, Ontario in the Adrenaline Training Center. I just swing for the fence all night long. Uh, look at my record, I stop a lot of people and it's because I swing heavy. Gross back to his feet, landed the right. Karkula backing away now. I'm going to run in there and just start wailing at his cement head. And from there, he's probably going to look at me and I'm going to have to move on to the soft tissue of his body and just smash that out. And of course, who doesn't like a heavyweight fight? Brian Bearpod Jordan against Blake Nash. Brian Jordan cuts to 265. He's closing in on 290 right now. This is a incredible giant of a man. I like to get myself in the zone before, you know, and kind of maybe feed the fans with some energy and uh, get some uh, butts out of the seats there. These heavyweights are going to put on a show in Budweiser Gardens. Two hard-hitting guys with good chins going at it and put on a show for the fans. I'm uh, Chris Lee Byrne. I'm fighting out of Adrenaline Training Center in London, Ontario. My favorite submission would be verbal abuse from Neon Belly. I compete every two or three weeks in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, obviously that's a big part of my game, so um, I'm not going to rush it, but if I can get it to the ground, I'm, I'm going to. It's a good challenge. I think it's very nicely matched and it's going to be an entertaining fight.